What's going on, Madden 19 players? If you're watching this video, it's simple as hell. This video is about pre snap adjustments, and we're going to learn how to make pre snap adjustments before we actually call hike. All right, this is very important going up against the defense, especially random defenses. Man, I always go random because you just never know what your opponent is going to come out in. So, with that being said, pre snap adjustments are simple. I'm gonna actually going to change the uh, camera view so that we can actually see it from the quarterback's perspective right and there's a couple things that I like to look for number one always look for my safeties all right I like to look if you're a football guy you already know where I'm going with this um, I look at my safeties whether it's too high safety look or it's one high safety look meaning in if it's a too high safety look nine times out of ten we're gonna look and see is it open or closed coverage right two high safeties are open coverages like this right this is a too high safety look and that's a let me look at it yep boom too high safety look and that's gonna be an open coverage now if they would audible into like a cover one or cover three shell then that's gonna be a closed uh, coverage and that's not you know no bueno for certain situations but everything can be beat on the defensive side of the ball so don't worry about it I'm just I'm giving you that new clarification on what certain things mean and when I see a look like this I'm always looking at my safeties first seeing how they are positioned so I see that they're in an open position that means that you can have multiple things that are going to be open you have the middle of the field all right you have the corner routes you have bench routes that can possibly damage this but again there's always that 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 little key little part that's going to help you get to the next level up in this pre-snap adjustment and that's going to be stemming from the safeties we're looking at the cornerbacks we're looking to see if the cornerbacks are going to be playing to the inside are they going to be outside what are they doing are they lined up uh right in front of our uh wide receivers are they pressing uh, are they looking at our quarterback are they on a blitzing angle you know are they looking to play zone right off the initial break and again these things are going to be broken down one by one as I go through this video but like I said our first read are to the safeties next read is going to be to the cornerbacks the next read are, is going to actually be to my linebackers all right and I know a lot of guys do not pay attention to the linebackers but this is one of the most important positions because this is exactly what our opponent is going to be using most guys like to use the middle linebacker so we got to make sure we know what to look for when we're looking at the linebackers and that's leverage we always looking to see are they inside are they outside are they staring down my quarterback you know what's their matchup if they're not lined up inside the box are they in front of the tight end or the slot receiver are they uh, lined up over to the running back that type of scenario we got to know exactly what we are facing which leads me to my next one all right the line what are their advantage what's my advantage you know and that's on both sides you know what i mean on indicating for the pre-snap adjustments do i win on the right side and usually what i mean by that is the cpu helped us out this year by letting us know when you're in the game they'll show you the green or the red and that's indicating the strong side for us or the weak side and what i like to do is i like to move my right analog stick down looking at the ratings but i also like to look at my run blocking scheme all right in my pass blocking scheme where what's what's a good position to slide to what's a good position not to slide to you know that sort of thing but again i always look at what i got in front of me all right next i'm looking at is there any pressure is it hot you know basically is there six or more guys up in the box um are there five guys on the line indicating that there's going to be pressure getting sent up if i see a look like this nine times out of ten i'm thinking that the pressure is going to be from this guy right here all right because there's five guys right in front of me and i'm looking at it and i'm like whoa this shit is too hot for me so that means that it's indicating to me that i need to get the ball out quickly and i need to make a decision all right whether i'm going to run the ball or i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to pass on the edges dink and dunk situation whatever the case may be but that's what i'm always looking for in my pre-snap adjustments i'm looking for the safeties i'm looking for the corners i'm looking for the leverage which are my linebackers i'm looking for the line both sides and then i'm looking hot who's coming in hot who's sending in pressure and when i find out all those components then i can actually hike the ball now i get it I've i'm taking so damn long to get these down but again, I'm letting you know this is what I'm looking for before I call, you know, hike. 
and I can do all this under two to three seconds. It's very quick. If you're a football player, especially a quarterback, you know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. These are your, your pre-snap adjustments and your pre-snap reads that you must make in order to be accurate and to be successful at this position. And we're all quarterbacks because we're controlling the actual CPU or the uh, controller and the computer. So, I mean, we're the ones doing all the work. So you got to be a quarterback and you got to think like a quarterback at all times making your pre-snap adjustments. If not, you are going to be unsuccessful. So here we go. This is how it would look all in real time. I would look it over. See what I got. Boom. I need a mic. Here we go. Here we go. Wait on it. Got circle open. I'll run it again. Didn't get the ball out too quick. Here we go. Right here, there's no... There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Seven. Got it. All right. Seven guys with one guy here. They only got three bigs on the ground. So that's an odd. Run here. There we go. Run that. You can run any type of different little play. Any stunt, really. It don't matter. Four down here. So more than likely, this is going to be a 4-3 look. Coming here, I'm going to go ahead. I'm looking inside my tackles. Got two inside my tackle box. All right, so I'm not really too much worried about that side, but I'm going to ID my man here. Pass protect there. Boom. Make my reads, and let's adjust. One more time, and then we're going to go into the film breakdown, and then I'll be done with this vid. Looking inside my tackle box. Okay, I'm going to slide protect there. Call out the mic him here. All right. Boom. Wait on it. 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 There it is. There it is. Patience is a virtue up in this game. All right. Let's go right up into the uh the practice shot here. Let's go up into uh the instant replay. All right. And we're going to give our pre-snap adjustment. And then we're going to go ahead and end this video like so. First thing first of what I was looking for were the safeties. All right. We were now from looking at this position. We already know that this is an open situation. It's an open coverage because we have two high safeties. All right. Next, we're looking at the cornerbacks. We're looking to see how the corners are playing. The corners are playing five yards off. All right. They're playing soft coverage. All right. So they're not pressed up. They're not tight. They're not inside. They're outside indicating that it's going to be some type of a zone type of, you know, scheme being ran here. Next, I'm looking at the leverage. I'm looking at the linebackers. The linebackers are playing very close to the line, all right, but not too close. But they are very much staring down the, the computer and the, the cornerback. I mean, the quarterback, excuse me. I'm sorry. What they're doing is they're staring down a the quarterback. They're inside. They're both um, equal to each other. So I have to make sure that whatever they're doing, they're more than likely going to play off of a five vert hook, all right, a five yard vert hook, indicating that they're going to back off coverage right away. And. What I would like to see, you know, basically if they're staring down anybody, exactly who it is once I actually hike the ball. And then once I identify who they're staring down, which in this case is going to be a man-to-man -man matchup look, they're going to mirror the fullback and the running back. They're not even going to keep their eyes up on the uh, quarterback here. As soon as the ball is hiked, their eyes go darting right towards the running back and the fullback. So I don't even have to worry about that once I snap the ball. I don't have to worry about them any longer. Next would be the line, a scrimmage here. I'm looking at the line play. Now, there's going to be a lot of man-to-man -man play. And there's also going to be a pressure-style look here. You got um, this DN here, more than likely a middle linebacker or outside linebacker will. Then you got your DN here, defensive tackle there, your nose there. All right. Then you got another guard here, another uh, end here. Oh, excuse me. And then you got, you know, a linebacker coming out here, more than likely showing like a Sam look. Um this can be kind of frustrating to a guy once once he's like looking at this. It, it depends. This will more than likely be a three four look. Excuse me, not a four three, a three four look. Um, four linebackers, three down defensive linemen, and you pretty much want to get your 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 gears in order when you're looking at this type of look. Um, it's going to be more linebacker play than anything, but always be accountable for what's inside of your tackles. All right, this tackle here, you want to make sure that you're looking at his right foot and seeing who's inside his box here and who's inside of his left box. All right, excuse me, inside of him. That's your tight end over there. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. So you want to look inside on his left foot. 
all right so here in here you want to see who's inside your tackle box once you indicate on who's inside your tackle box now you know exactly what side that you want to slide to the most heavy side is tend to be the side that you want to slide to and that would be to your left side all right and then you want to go ahead and protect against the weak link the weak link in this case would be buddy right here all right that's typically going to be the guy that's going to get lost in translation and we don't really want to take account for but everybody on the left because the play is going to the left we want to be accounted for and we want to have time in the pocket like so so once we do that we're looking to see who's coming in hot we got a linebacker here and we got a linebacker here that has to be accounted for this guy will be accounted for but we have a tackle here who's going to play that man out and he's going to go ahead and he's going to pick that guy up. If not, it's up to you to put your full back or your running back on a pass block to buy you more time if that guy runs free. And you should get the look on how we came out with. Everybody's picked up. Let's go back just one more time. In this angle. Number 77 actually went inside because that linebacker actually went into coverage. Let's be very clear on what's going on there. That linebacker who was here in the middle of the field, he darted down to the fullback. And this guy, number 54, is going to mirror the running back here. Okay? Let's be very clear on what he's doing. He's mirroring, mirroring the running back. And this guy who was on a edge blitz here, he's going to get picked up by the outside tackle. All right? By the left tackle there and you should end up seeing perfect pass protection here perfect pass protection we got the drag one all the way across and what we're going to do is we're going to play a levels game and we're going to indicate that we're wanting our tight end to get wide open and boom for the nice pass completion and those are my pre-snap adjustments that i make a little long but like i said once you actually get those down you're going to understand exactly what i'm talking about it's a lot that's going to help you in this game and it's going to save your ass when it's really crunched down and crunched situations. Again, what are we looking for for pre-snap adjustments? We're looking at the safeties, see if they're open or closed. We're looking at the corners to see if they're playing inside soft coverage or hard coverage. All right. And yes, the, the cornerbacks can lie to you. You know what I mean? With base alignments, man alignments, they can lie to you. So do not be sold on what the cornerbacks do. And that's why we make sure that we make sure we pay attention to those safeties. And we pay attention to, you know, if they don't base the line, we do pay attention to the corners. But we're also looking for leverage from the linebackers. Are they going to play inside? Are they outside of the tackle box? Are they staring down your quarterback? Or are they man the line like they were up in this position going straight to the fullback or running back? All right. We're making sure that we look at that. We're looking at the line. What's in front of us? All right. We're looking at if we have any advantages on the offensive line. All right. Or do they have any advantages on the defensive front? We need to make sure that we are paying attention to that and then last but not least we're looking for any hot pressure coming up from the sides from any linebacker play or any type of blitzing angles from the cornerbacks uh safeties if they dropping down coming up inside inside the box we're looking for all of that these are all indicators that will save your ass in this game there will be no no turbo blitzes no a gap blitzes if you can make the right proper pre-snap adjustments i promise you that until then man it's your boy skateboarding and skates and as this play has shown, man, I'm just skating through. There it is. Let's go.